what is up everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can set up your playstation 4 controller to play PS 2013 all right so now go ahead and download ds4 windows by clicking on the link in the description down below after your download is complete go ahead and extract all the files open ds4 windows folder then click on the colorful controller to open DS4 Windows. So if your DS4 Windows did not open up and it asked you to install .NET on your PC, go ahead and download the file in the description named .NET, extract all the files. Then go ahead and, and install .NET on your PC. So the installation is basic. You should be able to handle that on your own. Alright, so after you have installed .NET on your PC, now DS4 Windows should be able to open up by clicking on this colorful controller. So now if this is your first time opening up DS4 Windows on your computer, it will bring a pop-up menu, it will show up this dialog box, so you should go ahead and install all these drivers in order for DS4 Windows to work correctly on your computer. Then after you have finished installing all the drivers up to step 5, just click on finished. Ok so now that DS4 Windows is running perfectly on your computer. Go ahead and connect your PlayStation 4 controller. So if you connect your controller and it is not picked up by DS4 Windows, just go ahead and restart the application. So after your controller is connected perfectly, Go to your desktop icon for PES, right click, then open the file location. Go to settings, then click on controller, and make sure that this is set to X input. After making sure that uh, this is set to X input, you can just press OK, close this. Then go ahead and open up your game. So I believe that your controller should now be working perfectly in PES. And you should keep in mind that this is not a complete DS4 Windows tutorial. There are a lot on the internet, so you can go search any of them out. In case you want more detailed information about how to use DS4 Windows to configure your PlayStation 4 controllers on PC. So now let's test our controller and see how it works. As you can see, the controller is working perfectly fine in the game. Let me go play a quick match. So all the buttons are working properly, as you can see. And yeah, go ahead and leave a like guys if this video was helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials on YOLO NPC. And that's all for today's video. I'll catch you in the next one.